Hello, today I'm going to teach you how you can create a PowerShell script to connect you to a Wi-Fi network. Let's suppose that you're an IT professional or administrator with a lot of Windows laptops or tablets to deploy and you want to create a script that you can run on each of these laptops or tablets that connects you all to the same Wi-Fi network, puts the password in for you, gets the SSID right, gets the security type right, basically just does it all for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. This is a really great and relatively straightforward way of doing it. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is just ensure that you're connected already to the Wi-Fi network that you wish to uh, that you wish for the script to join you to. So just hover over your Wi-Fi uh, settings here down in the notification area, and we can see that I'm connected to 59 Home 2, which is the network that I want to connect all the other laptops to. So if you right-click on the Start menu and then run Command Prompt as Admin. And then basically the first thing we need to do is actually get a Wi-Fi profile. So what this is, is an XML document containing all of the information about the Wi-Fi network, the security settings, the connection type, everything basically, password, name, whole lot. One thing it won't do though are the proxy details. So if you need to have special proxy details that you put in, I've made another video that explains how you can deploy that through PowerShell, so give that a watch. There's just that's just one of many ways of deploying a proxy server. There's hundreds of ways of doing it, but give it a watch if you need to do that. But let's carry on with this. So the first thing you need to do is really, you just need to find out which uh, Wi-Fi profiles you have stored on the machine. So if you type in net sh wlan show profiles, what that'll do is show all the profiles that are stored on the machine. So basically these are all the Wi-Fi networks that the machine has connected to in the past. So at the moment we can see that I've got my 59 Home 2 network and this OA31 network. I want the machine, I want the script, sorry, to connect all the machines to 59 Home 2. So what we need to do is get an XML profile for this. And again, it's a, uh, a NetSH command that we use. So we use NetSH WLAN export profile and then the profile name. So in this case, 59 underscore home two key equals clear. I'll explain a little bit more about this in a second. And then folder equals whatever you want. So this is the folder that the XML file is gonna go in. So I'm just gonna export to the desktop for the time being. So desktop, good. And what you'll see is an XML file appear in that folder there. So just a very brief note about this key equals clear syntax here in the command. Basically what this does is it keeps the network key in the XML profile. If you got rid of that line there, you wouldn't have the um, you wouldn't have the network key automatically in, so you'd have to put that in yourself, which is a bit annoying. So I'd recommend keeping it in really, unless you're scared people are gonna try and open this XML file and then find out what the network key is or something like that. So what we can do now is close that because it's time to create the PowerShell script which is going to connect us to this uh, Wi-Fi network. So if we just create a new folder, you call it whatever you want, but it just makes things nice and easy. So in this case, I've just called it Wi-Fi. Open it up. Now, first thing to do is to copy your um, XML file into here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new text document, okay? And you can call this whatever you want. I might just call it Wi-Fi Connect or something like that. Connect Wi-Fi. Whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Open it. And then in the description below, I've got this code. So don't feel you need to copy it down. Just copy and paste it from the description and modify it to suit you. But pop that code in there. And what this does is it adds the Wi-Fi profile that is inside the same folder as this PowerShell script is going to be. One thing to make sure of though is just make sure that this name here matches the name of your Wi-Fi profile, otherwise it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is save this as a PowerShell file, so file, save as, and then when you see here it says save as type text documents, change that to all files, uh, put uh, .ps1 on the end, click save, and then come out of there. And you can see that we now have our PowerShell script, which will automatically connect you to that Wi-Fi network. 
So if you were to right click on this PowerShell file here and click on run with PowerShell, that would connect you to the Wi-Fi network using that profile there, which is great. But if you want to put this in some kind of task sequence or longer batch file, you can actually write a batch file that opens up this uh, PowerShell file, which then applies that profile. Sometimes you have to do that with PowerShell files if you want to put them in uh, larger sequences or whatever or sometimes it just makes running them a bit easier so to do that if you just right click in the folder create a new text document and make sure you call it the same thing as you called your PowerShell file okay so in this case it's Wi-Fi connect now again in the video description I've got the code here that you're gonna need this is the batch file that basically um, I've used this code before in several other videos but basically what this does is it just opens up the PowerShell file which has the same name as the batch file as long as it's all in the same folder okay so then if we just save that as a batch file by coming down to all files clicking um, that and then typing dot bat on the end close that and again you can delete that text document there you go so if you double click on Wi-Fi connect what that will do is it will basically connect you to the Wi-Fi network and that's pretty much all there is to it that's really as simple as that so thank you for watching the video you can put that file um, you can invoke that dot bat file in a larger longer task sequence or you can uh, put it elsewhere and run it elsewhere remotely or something like that you could you could do whatever you want with it but basically what it does is it just connects you automatically to the Wi-Fi it's a really great little script makes deploying systems quite a bit easier more effective everything like that um, obviously you could edit the script here and then you could put echo connecting you to the Wi-Fi or something like that so that you know what's happening rather than seeing all those things pop up like it just did. Have a play around with it, it's a really great script and thank you for watching.